Well, hello there, you're back with the ugliest thing alive, cool dude Clem. As usual, it's raining. So, can't do anything out there. So, might as well stay indoors and um, try to fix this thing with my computer. Well, as most of you probably know, I'm having problems with my graphic card and having problems speaking. But anyway, I'm going to try and solve those problems once and for all. And in this video, I'm just going to be... You're just going to have the camera point at the screen with me talking behind it, so um, if this isn't the kind of video you like, then go and watch something else. Now, I thought I'd start with bringing you up to speed on how things are actually going with this thing at the moment. Now, I haven't reinstalled anything, but you might be able to notice the screen is actually at 720 by um, 1280 by 720. And you may also notice that I now have the display properties working again. So I can select the resolution here to whatever I want it. Of course I'm not going to um, change it because I've got it on the resolution I want it at, at the moment. So that's going to stay as it is. But if I reboot the computer it will actually stay at that resolution. And I have rebooted it several times and it has stayed that way. And yes I am using Windows XP and to all you purists out there who say I simply must get Windows 7 because it's the absolute greatest thing. Well, screw you. I'm sticking with Windows XP. And I'm not going to install two operating systems just so I can have the best of both. It's just not really worth it. So, how I got that to work again is, well, I kind of broke the Catalyst software so it's even more broken than it was to begin with. I might be able to show you what I've done. I might be able to actually recreate that. Um, let's just go into the thing here. Now when I um, selected this, the picture went all 4-bit. See if it does it again. Okay, no, it's not going to do it this time. But last time I did that, the picture went all 4-bit on me with 640 by 480 with 16 colours. And I found after I did that, I was able to adjust it to how I wanted with this as you can see now. Unfortunately it won't play any games. I've mounted the disk image in Damien Tools, now I'll try to run the game and you'll see that it just isn't going to work and I'll show you why in just a minute. Now I know 640 by 480 worked before in the previous installation when I did have that game running on this card but do have problems with this particular installation so here we are in DX Diac. Now I have got the latest DirectX for this computer, which is DirectX 9C version 4.09. Blah, 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 blah. I won't go through all those numbers, but let's just test the 3D capabilities. And we'll see. Okay, this is DirectX 7. As you can see, it's working with DirectX 7. But now, we'll try DirectX 8 and above, and fail! No DirectX 8 support. Or um, anything above that come to this matter. Now, that all was working before with this card in a previous installation. And I've done exactly the same things as I've done in this installation, so I'm kind of a little bit stumped as to why that isn't working. But what I'm going to do is reinstall Windows on this computer, then I'm going to back it up and try installing the drivers in a completely different way. Now, let's just take a look at what, we, what I've actually got here. Now, firstly, I'm going to try the ATI Omega drivers. Now, I know this is a discontinued thing and it may not work with my card, but can't really make anything more broken than it already is, so it's worth a try just to see if it can do it. I've also downloaded ATI Tray Tools, so if the Omega drivers don't work, I'm going to install, reinstall the um, official ATI drivers, but without the Catalyst, and use this instead, and see if that works. And if that doesn't work, um, well, I don't know what I'll do. Some of you may be asking, why is the picture extremely blurry at this point? Well, I don't know, my camera's refusing to focus, but... A lot of others of you are asking, why don't I just uninstall the old drivers and then reinstall something else? Why am I reinstalling Windows? 
Well, this is the only way to make absolutely sure that there is no trace of the original drivers left. And when I've installed Windows, I'm going to install Service Pack 3, then I'm going to make an image of the hard drive. So should anything else go wrong, I can just simply restore it to how it was without having to reinstall Windows. Dig that new fresh OS smell. Though it doesn't actually smell of anything. Anyway, fresh new install of Windows XP. It doesn't know what's about to hit it. Okay, that's Service Pack 3 installed, and I am now backing up the system. So, should anything, well, when anything goes wrong during the next part, which is installing the drivers, I can simply roll it back. It appears those Onion or Orion or whatever the hell it was drivers, they do not work. I don't even need to go into DirectX Diag to, um, to see that. See? Everything's all blur. Am I trying to move anything? Also, it seems to have put a shortcut to a program that doesn't even exist. And it also installed ATI Try Tools, which doesn't. That says there's no drivers installed. So back to the old drawing board. Restoring everything now. Oh, if you're wondering about the video playing in the corner of the screen, that's the TV's picture in picture. That's not actually being done by the computer. That's on VHS, believe it or not. See? Fast forwarding. Teamwork, Just to prove it. You said you'd stop that. <laughs> Sorry, <force abandoned. laughs> well, bad news, nobody. Alright, bad news, everybody. I have installed the drivers without installing the catalyst. See, if right click, it's not there. And you can see the drivers are installed because when I move this thing about, it now moves nice and smoothly without any jittering or whatever. However, now I have no way of adjusting the screen. See? I tried installing ATI tools to make it work, which I've got right here. And, well, the computer just wants to piss me off. So, that's it. Okay, well, it's a little bit later on now, and I've got ATI Trade Tools working. It turns out I needed to install .NET Fix 3, and I've got .NET Fix 3.5 on here now. So I can use this program. Unfortunately, even though now I can change the resolution with this thing, this is what I'm limited to. Just these two choices here. It's the same with all three bit per pixels modes. As you can see. So for instance, let's just change this to um, 640 by 480. So it shows working. And there we go. Of course, I don't want it on that low. So, I um, really don't know what to do here. I've had it with this graphic card. I'm not going to play with it anymore. I'm just going to save up my money, get another one. And to all of you pondering whether you should get ATI, don't, because it sucks. Or I could take those words right back, because now I've got this thing working exactly how I wanted it to. And the way to do it was so simple I could have kicked myself. I'll show you what I did. Went into the Catalyst Control Center because I found that this I found this card is just not going to work properly without it. And I went into here. I went into the HDTV support, or HD as some people say. And I applied one of the resolutions here, and it stays on the resolution that I want it to. Plus, I also have this back so I can adjust the resolution with this if I if I actually. So I can adjust the resolution with this if I need to, but I'm not going to right now because that's on how I want it. And you can see that it is on 1280 by 720. And when I reboot the computer, it stays like that. It does not revert back to 480 by, um, no, 720 by 480. The 3D is working. The sound is working. I'll just play something to prove that. Got the sound from the graphic card. 
coming through to the TV. Help if I zoomed out the camera. You can probably, as you can probably tell, but I won't play too much of that for copyright reasons. So, I think mission accomplished. I've won with dignity. I knew one thing was going to crack before sooner or later, either me or the computer, and I think we know who won. So, that's it, that's it for now, and my tape's run out so we'll have to use the camera's microphone. But anyway, until next time, goodbye.